Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give you a quick overview of our three stage water filtration system that we're going to be running on our RV. As you can see, it's mainly made out of PVC and three cartridges. I bought these, well, these water housings on Amazon. I gave $20 each and they was running a little sale on it. Along with the three housings, I also purchased uh, pressure gauges so I can monitor the efficiency of the filters so I know which one when they start to go bad when they start to plug up and start losing efficiency I know which one to change as you can see it's just basically a PVC housing I can pick it up carry it it's fairly light it didn't sound light but it is fairly light the one advantage that I like about this setup here is I can move my filters around. So if I'm going to do maintenance on it and put my filter wrench on here, I crack and let all the water run out and then unscrew it the rest of the way, put my new filters on. The other nice thing is if I'm on a lean or there's a slope at my campsite, my filters still stay vertical. I do have another video posted on how I built this. Then you know, with dimensions and everything like that but really the dimensions and everything will change because this setup here is a very customized setup you can do however you want you only want one filter you know, put a carbon filter in it you know you got 20 bucks even if you don't put the gauge on it if you only have one filter I won't see a need for the gauge but you know 20 bucks a couple bucks in PVC water filling in, ends on the ends and voila, for 40 bucks, you have a filter that you can use for the rest of your camping career because all you have to do is replace the filters inside it. That's the only thing you're going to be replacing. So you check that away, claim your new one in. The sediment filters like this, you can pick them up, two of them for $4.50. You know. A carbon filter, you can get two of them for $7.50. So it makes a lot of economic sense if you're going to be using your camper for a while and get away from them Campco little ones that you put on there. This will get a, give you a better filtration than them Campco ones. Like I said, I'm not a water expert. I don't claim to be a water expert. Okay, one of the advantages of having the gauges is you can monitor how efficient your filters are, are being or are they losing their efficiency so we have a water pressure regulator that has a gauge on it so I can set this at say 55 psi if I got 55 psi coming in I know the drop across the filter is going to be a couple psi let's say 50 psi so I set that at 50 psi so now I know I have 50 psi coming into this filter coming out so if I got five five psi drop here I may have five psi drop here it all depends on your filters too so if I set that at 45 so come in here if I have another five percent drop I know I set this at 40 so now my my tags are all set so now as the filters lose their efficiency this pressure will actually start to drop Say it gets down to 20 PSI. I know this one's going to be at 15 because this one's cutting the flow back. So I know this filter here needs to be replaced. So I just go, I know that's my carbon filter. I grab a carbon filter out of the bay and I come in here and I just replace it. So that's the advantages of having the gauges sitting on top. These pipes here, they have no water running through it or anything like that. I don't even have them glued together. This, this base here is not even glued together. So if we get a fifth wheel motor home something like that and i want to mount this system i can actually just attach it up here take this bottom off attach this on the wall and there i have my filters a quick little overview of our system maybe it might get your mind thinking on saying hey i can do something like that i took minimal hand tools a pvc pipe cutter a pair of vice grips something to tighten down these fittings here Thread tape and PVC glue and primer. You know, it literally took me 
less than an hour and that was recording less than an hour to do this I see that my battery is about ready to die so I thank you for watching this video please give it a thumbs up that way we know the content that we're producing you guys enjoy and I thank you for watching